coronavirus, why people do not cover their nose with a mask and how to keep your glasses from fogging up while wearing a mask. Hello, this is Dr. Donald Fox, orthodontist at Fort Lauderdale Beach, Florida, where you can read more about my credentials at reallystraightwhiteteeth.com and also at my website on the blog page, there are videos that I've done as getting the coronavirus out of your mouth, nose and throat and much more. I know you have seen it, people wearing a mask on their nose is not covered their nose, which defeats the whole purpose. They're breathing coronavirus into the air, which is the main purpose of the face mask. Plus, they have an increased risk of breathing the virus into their nose. One reason for this is they do not have the mask fully stretched vertically like I'm going to show you right now. So basically you stretch it this way and you put it on while wearing a mask like this and you stretch it this way. I wear a sports mask with a N99 filter with two respirator valves that look like this. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna show you a typical surgical mask and here's how you put it on again. And you have to stretch it vertically like the Venetian blind and then press the metal portion of the nose down so it fits tight inside the edge of the mask down on your nose so that it properly fits the bridge of your nose. Most of the masks are only one size, and if your head is medium size or small, the mask will not be tight. Now, I have a large head, but if your head is medium or small, the mask will then fall off your nose up here. How you handle this is you take the loop right here that's going around your ear and twist it and put it back on, and then on the other side, you do the same thing. You crisscross it and you put it back on, which makes the mask tight on your face than it was before. So you can actually do this and crisscross it on both sides, even two and three times to make it even tighter, but make sure it doesn't get too tight. And then of course, push back down here. You should always wear a mask uh, after you wash your face, by the way. But if you have to do this crisscross, extremely if you have a small, extreme size, small head. Another reason they people don't wear a mask over their nose is that they're claustrophobic. And some people know they're claustrophobic and others know they aren't, but they know sometimes they just feel weird and they don't know why, but it's because they're claustrophobic and they can't breathe well. This is overcome by wearing the mask little by little at times when they do not have to wear it until they can build up enough confidence to when they have to wear it that they can wear it comfortably. The best mask for that type of person, again, is the sports mask that has two respirator valves that allows easier breathing and it has an N99 filter in it. And the last reason why someone does not cover the nose is interestingly. Stop and notice if they're wearing reading glasses or normal glasses or see if they're wearing sunglasses. Why? I go up to these people and I don't ask them, why don't you cover your nose or offend them? or which could you know, also get you in an argument with them, or they may say, mind your own business. I go up to them and I ask them to, have they have a problem with their glasses fogging up? They look at me strange and they hesitate for a while because they do not know me. And then they say, how did you know? And I said, because your mask is causing your glasses to fog up and then you're not covering your nose and you need to cover your nose with your mask. They then confirm and say, yep. And I tell them there are different ways to keep your glasses, reading glasses and sunglasses from fogging up. You can do something complicated as using quick spit that costs money, as you can see in this picture here, for one ounce is $6.95 and you have to go to a scuba diving shop because these people know that you, when you wear a scuba mask with scuba diving or snorkeling, they can use this and it works. Some people swear by Rain-X and be sure to use a toilet tissue to buff the Rain-X on both sides of the glasses so that it's crystal clear again or it'll leave an oily film on your glasses making it hard to see through. Do not use a paper towel or a Kleenex tissue when you go to buff this material on there. A paper towel will scratch the coating that is now on most glasses and sunglasses and a Kleenex tissue will always leave lint. 
As a side note, I find it interesting that people use a Kleenex tissue when they have a cold or a runny nose. If you take a Kleenex tissue over to a patio window on a sunny day and the sun is beaming through the patio window and it's beaming onto the floor and you shake the actual tissue over this beam of light, you'll see all kinds of lint in the air, which makes you wonder. It's odd that somebody that uses a Kleenex and has allergies or a runny nose and they're using this when they should use actually toilet tissue. So don't use a Kleenex on your glasses. You could also use an eyeglass buffing cloth. There are also people that swear by Rain-X that is anti-fog. Yes, they make anti-fog Rain-X for your car windows and you can get this, but I haven't tried it. There are other methods that you can find on the internet, but the easiest to use is foam soap or bar soap like this, just simple, go in your bathtub and get it, or in a bathroom if you're at work. Make sure it doesn't have extra oil conditioners in it. For instance, you can take white ivory bar soap on this and you can push it on either side of the lenses and put some white soap on there and then take toilet tissue and buff it clear to it's like it doesn't even seem to be on there and it'll last four to eight hours with your um, eyeglasses not fogging up and it doesn't cost you anything. By the way, I have to do this every day because I wear now mask all the time and the Sports 99 mask and reading glasses to be able to see what I'm doing when I'm working on patients with braces and Invisalign. So with all the stress and the new rules we have with the coronavirus, hesitate the next time you see someone not wearing their mask over their nose. And before you try to correct them or get a surprise that they wanted you to mind your own business, stop and think why they're not covering their nose. It's really easy if they're wearing glasses because again, you are able to ask them, hey, do you have a problem with your glasses fogging up when they wear the mask over their nose? And they'll you know, find, say yes. If they're not wearing glasses, tell them the other things that are in this video and be helpful. There will be one out of 10 people who are just resistive or negative. And if they're at work and you're in the store and they're working, then you have no other choice except go over to the store manager and tell them that, you know, for the sake of your health, and that person's health and my health that they need to cover their nose with their mask or find out what their reasons for not doing it. Again, this is Dr. Donald Fox, orthodontist at Fort Lauderdale Beach with braces and Invisalign offices from Delray Beach to Miami Beach and in Davie, Florida and Sunrise, Florida.